gonna be out here fishing on Mobile Bay using a pearl swimming mullet. Let's see what we can catch. Since I'm fishing out here, I've since I've since we've been here these past few weeks, been some pretty good fishing. I've caught a few white trout, a few speckled trout like three or four flounder so far over about two weeks we've probably caught two to three hundred crabs in the crab traps which is nice in the drum family, along with redfish, ground mullet. You just grip them tight, they will basically stop, because their gills actually fan out and they can thin you. So if you push them down, especially if you have gloves on, then they basically almost stop moving. They never stop croaking. Probably just nibbling on that. Probably was nibbling on that fish bite. Up, make a straight whoa. 
sometimes if they're real, real, real active, I will just, I'll just basically like fillet them like a real fish and get these little strips. And you can put those on the on the end of the year hook and basically use them as fish bites. You got these little strips. You can do it both sides. Just get behind both these fins like a straight cut down deep enough. So just gonna cut this tail, use the tail as a little strip, cut it all into pieces actually and use them until you get up to the head. Basically the whole body you can use. And since I have the head, I'm just going to cut it in half. And I'm actually going to set up a Carolina rig and just throw that on there. Or throw that on there. All this, I will take this piece. That's a really good piece. That's a good piece. That's not the best. None of this is the best pieces that you can do. So I'll put these on a Carolina rig on the end of the hook. Use them as basically. All right. So I just filleted that uh, croaker, and I got the tail. Hopefully, to basically make it look like it actually has a tail. Let's see what it does. Nope. It just. Best back up. Thanks for watching my video. Please like and subscribe.